And the green flag's in the air. We're underway and already beating a Mangan going three wide into turn number one. As Ross Crajack at that 51R looking pretty racy here tonight. He's going to take the race lead. He's going to drive away from the I-81 of Tom Grass. He looks like John Howard starting back there from the eighth position, trying to race Grassy for that second spot now as they come off of turn number two. Or turn number four, excuse me, as will be Crajack leading lap number one with Grassy in second. John Howard right now all over his back bumper, though. Second on back, you can almost throw a blanket over him as they go three wide. Mark Farns to the outside of the 48 of Davey Watkins, along with the 57X of Kaylee Schneider. Now Schneider and the 42 of Schmill go side by side for a brief moment. So right now it's all Ross Crayjack out front. Here comes John Howard, though, to the outside of Tom Grassy. He'll sneak by him. So Howard passes Grassy. Has a long way to go here as we have just three laps to go in this first heat race of the night. If he wants to have anything for the 51R of Ross Crayjack, who has checked out on the field. And his own zip code right now is at 51R of Crayjack. With Howard in second, three wide for third. John Mark Farns down to the inside of Grassy. Jacob Strite to the outside. He's going to take over that third spot. As Davey Watkins gets filled back early portion of this heat race right now trying to battle Mark Farns for that fifth spot or that fourth spot that it is fourth and fifth on the racetrack Farns right now has it walking to the outside of him in that 48 machine so Watkins couldn't do anything with Mark Farns Farns though starting to reel in the 13 machine of Strite as your race leader comes off a of turn number four Ross Krajak he'll take the white flag just one more time around here in heat race number one Using that middle line through turns one and two as Crayjack kind of dipped the car down a low a little bit off a of turn at number two. Back up to the top side off a of two and down the back straightaway. Once again, using the middle line through turns three and four. Car can't quite stick off a of turn at number four. Not going to be an issue for him, though, as he, he'll see the checkered flag and he'll take it. Winner of heat race number one with John Howard coming home in the second spot. Jacob Strite will come home in third over Farns and Watkins. Lights are out. Green flag in the air. We're underway with heat race number two for Robert Horn Ford Bombers. And Bruce Sives started outside of row at number two, falling back in the pack as Michael Sabowski in 15S. That black car down the inside of 62 Megan Ray will move up into that four spots. They're side by side. Schneider in the 129, that blue machine, the red and blue. 57 of Tyler DeLong off of turn number four. Give the lead to it, DeLong. That car is for sale. Any race fans down there looking to get in some bomber racing, make sure you come on down to the pits as we do invite every single race fan to the pits immediately following the racing action here at Arizona Speedway. So DeLong will lead. Lap number two, followed by Schneider and Sabowski. Sabowski is going to peek his nose to the outside of Schneider. As they race off a turn at number two, going to be side by side. The 15S of Schneider, the 129, or the 15S of Sabowski, the 129 of Schneider. Schneider down low, Sabowski up top. They're still side by side. They're all the way through turns one and two, and down the back straight away. Give it though to Sabowski with a strong drive off of turn number four. So Sabowski with a good run off of turn number four, takes over that second spot. Schneider mounted another charge as they came off of turn number two with Willie Sabowski now clearing him and driving away, trying to reel in the 57 machine of Tyler DeLong. DeLong on the low line, Sabowski up top. Now DeLong's going to have the car drive off the top side of turn number four and down the front straightaway, still hanging on to it, though. Tyler DeLong, Michael Sabowski, your top two drivers. Bumper to bumper right now. Sabowski going to go to the outside of DeLong. Might have the lap car. Bruce Sipes very slow on the racetrack. Come into play as the light flag flies. Sabowski leads that lap. DeLong, though, fighting back on the inside of that 15S of Sabowski. Sabowski has been very strong of a turn number two. He's going to be strong once again here in the final lap. A heat race number two for the Robert Horde Ford Bombers. So he'll drive away from Tyler DeLong. Going to give it one last shot here down the inside of three and four. Can't quite do it. Sabowski will win. Heat race number two over Tyler DeLong. And Ross Schneider. Trenton Sedlin kind of had a... Uh,
nightmare of getting out here to the track. Actually, I drove by him on accident on the I-17. He was broke down there with his trailer. Had to get a new truck to get out to the track, but he is here and ready to rock and roll, starting outside of row number one as green flag does fly. For this final heat race of the night for the Bombers, Rick Hughes, your race leader, Toby Wibito, going to try to pull the outside of the 99 and Trenton Settle with Josh Monday in the fourth spot, now 177 machine. But here comes Nick Wakalik and Justin Wyckoff breathing down his neck. Off a of turn at number four, it will be the seven machine of Rick Hughes showing the wave over Toby Wibito, Trenton Settle, and there's Wakalik and Monday. They go side by side for the fourth spot. Monday down to the inside, Wakalik up top. Now here comes Justin Wyckoff, almost made it three wide as Wakalik, though, does drive away from the 177. Aaron Carter, though, on the outside of that 177 on Monday in the 24W of Wyckoff. He'll try to take over that fifth spot in the 13X. Toby Wimito right now trying to take over your top spot as they race into turn number one. A little smoke coming out of the 99 machine of Trenton Settling as Wimito still to the inside of the seven machine of Rick Hughes. Off of turn number two, side by side, gonna drag race down the back straight away into turn number three. Wibito down low, car kind of washes up the racetrack just a smidge, I'm able to avoid contact off of four. This is the race leader at the line, I believe, is gonna be Rick Hughes, still hanging on to it. Good racing action here in heat race number three for the Robert Horn Ford Bombers and Toby Wibito, the man out front for the moment, but here comes Rick Hughes fighting back up top. He was now going to try a diamond off the corner, see if he can't pull it to the inside of Toby Wibito. Can't quite get it done. Will pull it right up to his back bumper. Might have made a little contact at the line as smoke continues to pour the 99 machine of Trenton settling here as laps wind down in heat race number three for the Robert Horn Ford Bombers. Nick Wakalik has a little bit of something hanging off the back of his bumper. He's going to put pull down to the inside of the 99 of Trenton settling as Aaron Collier goes to his outside. White flag in the air this time by, though, for your race leader, Toby Wibito. Wibito and Hughes lead the field into turn number one. Hughes going to lose a little bit of ground to the 25 of Wibito off of turn number two. It was about a half a car length. Now it's back to about car length and a half. But Hughes with a strong run down the back stretch. Hasn't had anything for Wibito, though, in the corners. As we come off turn number four, it will be Toby Wibito winning heat race number three over Rick Hughes. Nick Wakalik beats Trenton Settling at the line, followed by Justin Wyckoff and Aaron Collier.